The water supply for the HERSIG begins with the condensate system at the hot well of the single pressure deaerating type condenser located at the steam turbine exhaust. Condensate collected in the hot well is supplied by the condensed and deaerated exhaust steam from the steam turbine. The hot well supplies the suction for the condensate pumps. The condensate pumps then pump the condensate through a control valve to the low pressure economizer. In addition to condensate flowing to the low pressure economizer through a control valve, a condensate recirculation pump can recirculate some of the condensate back through the economizers 1 and 2 to assist with increasing water temperature. Water flows out of the low pressure steam drum through the LP evaporator and then back to the LP drum. Due to the difference in density between the water in the downcomers and the steam water mixture in the evaporator and risers, the lighter steam water mixture returns to the drum. Water from the LP drum is supplied to one of two boiler feed pumps. The water is pumped from an intermediate stage of the boiler feed pump through a flow control valve and one IP economizer rack to the IP drum. Water flows from the IP drum down the risers and through four IP evaporator racks. Due to the difference in density between the water in the downcomers and the steam water mixture in the evaporator and risers, the lighter steam and water mixture returns to the drum. The water from the LP drum is supplied to the high pressure drum through the main discharge of one of two boiler feed pumps. From the feed pump, the flow goes through a control valve and six HP economizer racks. to the HP drum. Water from the HP drum flows through five HP evaporator racks and the steam water mixture rises back to the HP drum. Boxes 3 and 4 separate the first and second HP evaporator racks and contains the SCR ammonia header and catalyst modules.